Welcome to Blitz Chess number 17. In today's video I'm going to play a Blitz game, I'm going to walk you through what I think, and your job as a viewer is to pause the video from time to time, maybe ask yourself what would I play in this position, and in that way we can all learn and improve. Let's go. Okay, we found a game, we're playing against Mr. Capo Chess, good luck. We're playing with the white pieces, we're going to play e4. Ah, Sicilian, okay, I'm going to play the wing gambit. I was ready to play knight f3 against d5. But I'm not going to miss my chance to play this gambit. It's pretty... Okay, it's not played a lot. Ah, yeah, I was studying this. It's not played a lot, but it's it's decent, I think. Um, Simon Williams, Grandmaster from England, plays it a lot. Not of six, this is a, a weird one. I think in this theory suggests a takes b4. And against that, the weird and ugly c3 is played, but b5 is... The computer move. Preventing knight c6. And you're gonna get c4, d4, knight c3. You got your pawn back as white. Which is um, already kind of a little win. But now, yeah, of course, how do we continue? I want to play c4, but it seems a little bit impulsive. I want to play knight f3 and bishop c4 as well. Knight of three, c4, bishop b2. I'm gonna play c4, knight of six, and knight of three. Although I must admit that knight of four I didn't see. I think queen of three was okay there. I must be careful with something like d4 and bishop b4. Although, let's say d4, bishop b4. I, I can play bishop d2, I think. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save it for later, for now. I'm gonna play bishop e2 now. If this, uh, and now I go d4 because bishop b4 is not there. And I can see myself playing something like, let's say knight b6, d4, just to show you. Bishop b4, king f1. That's an idea. Maybe I'm, it's never going to happen, but it's worth keeping as an idea. Which is something that I, I usually do when, when, when I'm playing chess in general. Just keep ideas as, as potential, potential things that will happen in the game. I'm going to castle here. Bishop b7 is, yeah. There's not much I can do against that. D4, and I guess that in this part of the game we're just going to continue developing and start hitting towards the middle game. Um, is there any way I can post, like, make any, any attacking moves right away? I think knight e5 may be a little bit um, annoying. Knight e5, knight takes, d takes e5. What am I achieving there? Did I achieve anything? Or should I just continue developing pieces? Good question. I think knight c3. Ah, knight e5 takes, takes knight d7 is a little bit annoying. I'm gonna go knight c3 first. I'm gonna continue developing. a7 is a weakness. Um, I'm, I'm asking constantly, sorry, I should explain my thoughts a little bit better. I'm asking three questions right now. Which piece should I improve? Uh, where are my opponent's weaknesses? And what is, what is my opponent's plan? So I, I see my opponent's plan as rook c8, maybe, but then the weakness is on a7, so that's not a plan. Um, maybe breaking up, breaking with e5. Maybe trading pieces with knight e4. I mean, my opponent doesn't have too much space, so it makes sense that my opponent would like to, to trade pieces. Maybe I, I, do, I should have played bishop d3 rather than bishop, uh, bishop uh, e2. Queen c2 is there. I like my bishop on b2. I'm going to play my bishop on b2. It supports d4. And I could have played bishop b3. Ah, interesting. So my opponent realized the same thing I realized. Therefore, played that move. But now I'm going to create a weakness on b6. And I'm going to play my queen on b3. Yeah, many times in chess and in life, <laughs> when, when you do something uh, to, to prevent one thing, another thing comes up. For instance, you did get rid of the weakness on a7, but now b6 is a new weakness. The, com the position has transformed, though, I should say, and it seems like it seems like black will maybe get a little bit of counterplay in the, in the, in the a-file, which we're seeing a little bit right now. I'm going to speed up a little bit. Um, can I play an 5 now? Hmm. I think I will play just knight b5. Being a little bit annoying. 
tanks, then I just have a little bit of a um, positional advantage. And it seems like because I have, in general, I have a positional, positional advantage because of a couple of things. Uh, number one, peace activity. Sorry, number two, central control. And number three, the potential, well, potential bishop pair. Um, queen e3, isn't that bothering? This is the part of the game where you don't know when, when to stop and when, when, what, what is going to be a critical position. I'm going to play bishop d3. If not f6, I'm, I'm going to put my knight on e5. I'm running out of time, so I have to be quick. First time that happens in, in this kind of videos. Of course not. 97 is an idea that I should have seen before. Hmm, that's a little bit annoying. Okay, I'm gonna take. Let's sake. I'm gonna play c5. Which is a tactic that I saw. And the only way you can see this with two seconds on the clock is to do it over and over and over. I don't know if it works. I haven't finished, but I think I am getting two minor pieces for the rook, which is. And many times people don't get this, but which is usually and most of the time good. So, for example, at the beginning in the opening, many times pl people play bishop c4, knight g5, and sacrifice on f7. Black takes, you take, you give up two minor pieces, and people are doing that willingly. Um, but it's that's generally not very good. Okay, let's play bishop c2. The only danger here is is flagging. I don't know why I'm I'm so relaxed actually. Queen e1. I blunder that. Yeah, that was that was silly. Okay, let's play queen d3 now. Threatening Shahmat. I'm gonna play d7 as soon as possible. Okay, let's play d7 as soon as possible. As advertised. It should be three now. This knight is uh, f5, yeah. This is the kind of thing I was looking for when I played um uh, when I created this battery with the queen on d3 and a bishop on c2. My opponent to create weaknesses with this with this move. Ugly looking move. Oh, sorry. Um, so e6 is now hanging. Queen takes f5 is probably possible, but I just want to play it safe. Bishop c3, bishop d2. Queen e1 is there, which is very annoying. But hopefully, oh my goodness. Oh, yeah. G1 is is a problem. Okay. Not sure if this works. There's no meat because there's a knight on f3, which is an incredible light knight. What an incredible knight. My goodness. Okay, let's play queen d4. Oh, did I blunder this? Ugh. Okay, this is a draw now. Okay, let's sacrifice. We don't want to draw. David, but like, you don't know what you're doing now. But it's all okay. I have, I have three pieces, it's complicated. Bishop c7. How is my opponent going to reply to Bishop c7? Give up more pieces? Okay, this a queen. I ah, why did I play that? That's such a bad, such a bad move. By me. Okay. Scary stuff. I think that even if, even if, okay. Okay, wait, what? Isn't this... Isn't this curtains? That's no, not. Okay. I've never seen something like this in my entire life. <laughs> I mean, of course I could have won before. But now... Now we have this very unique position. That I've never had. 
and it's amazing. I don't know what's going on really. I I apologize for the lack of experience in this kind of end games. I've I've never seen something like this. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry for the lack of professionalism. Okay, well, that's that's the usual chess game in a nutshell. Yeah, thank you for watching. Um I, I, I apologize for not having uploaded in, in a long time. I was I was feeling not very well. And um and I hope I hope you still learning chess and I, I, I'm going to come back and keep making videos about chess and you for you to learn. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.